Some Americans might think of compost as garbage, but the 200 plus attendees at this year's compost conference and trade show see compost as a way of life. We're basically trying to create an industry around compost. We want to get all the food scrap composted, get it back on the land, grow some food. And um, this is a way of, of bringing the entire industry together in Rhode Island getting them to mix, getting them to talk, getting them to find partners and stuff like that, and uh, making it happen. Conference attracted attendees from both the local and national levels. We have just barely scratched the surface, both locally, the state level, and nationally, in terms of what we can do in terms of diverting organic materials from landfills and using it and turning it into products that benefit society and the environment, and that's what composting is all about. One of the speakers at this year's conference has invented a unique bin system that allows businesses and institutions to compost on site. The process can be started on site at any place that generates food scraps. And what you can do is you can collect the material and initiate the composting process. So by initiating the composting process, you heat up that material, you start it cooking, and you further it along that process to composting. Conference attendee New Urban Farmers has already started a small scale composting initiative on their urban farms in Pawtucket. We've been working really hard in developing a really high quality, uh, quick uh, turnover in our compost. So we're able to return it right to our urban farms and use the waste stream from our community, from our residents, for our residents, and try to close that loop. Others have been composting for years. Earthcare Farm, which recently began accepting compostables from universities, hospitals, and other businesses, is already encountering some bureaucratic hurdles. For sites that have are trying to market a compost that's approved as a certified organic soil amendment, now at present we're not going to be allowed to take in the the tableware and utensils, and I'm really struggling with that. As one of the founders of the organic farming um, uh, standards in Rhode Island. But despite all this, Smyrna remains hopeful about the future of composting in Rhode Island. The vision is just fantasy until we put it into action, and it looks like there's enough interest now that it will actually be put into action. Live from the Compost Conference and Trade Show in Pawtucket, this is Eco RI News.